Hi guys, this is Atco. Well, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with these uh, power stations and dealing with the uh, solar panel and uh, amazed me that how much power you can get out of one 100 watt panel. So I've been playing with it and I've been using my Jackery for uh, testing equipment outside of the house. And I noticed one problem I've been having, um, most of the time if I'm charging in a good sunny day, I'm getting, you know, 55 to up to 60 watts out of that panel. And most of the things I've been doing, I'll get down to like 70% and then charging it back up to 90, 95 in uh, two, two and a half hours. But the other day I wanted to charge this thing and I was setting it up to to uh, get the sun. It was going to be a nice day and it was only uh, about 8.30. It was uh, getting light but uh, the sun was behind the trees already and uh, so there wasn't any really sun out yet but I thought I'd get ready and I put in my panel and plugged it into the Jackery and the Jackery showed me I was getting uh, 11 watts at that point which I was actually surprised to get 11 watts and then I just let it go until it would start charging and it started going up and uh, you know every couple minutes had gone up another one or two watts until the point I got to 930 and I'm at 40 watts and that's where it stopped and I watch this thing, it's a nice sunny day, it's beautiful, right into the panel itself from the sun. Um, no clouds, it's still at 40 watts. I watched it for another 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, still at 40 watts. Hmm, I know I should be getting more output than that. So I thought, well, let's just see what happens if I unplug the uh, plug from the jackery, you know, right the input jackery. Just unplug it, give it a couple seconds, plug it back in, see what happens. Bang, it's back up to 55 watts. And then I was able to charge for the next uh, couple hours in that 55 to 57 watts until I charged. Okay, well, that was cool. Um, I didn't think too much about it. And then uh, a few days later, I started and I'm charging something that was probably already uh, very sunny and I was getting uh, 58, 59 watts and I wanted to move my panel over where I had it in uh, my porch. So I standed right in front of the panel and just moved it maybe six feet, put it back on, came back and went into the uh, Jackery and looked at the uh, input and it was showing 40 watts. I was doing 56, 57 watts. And now I'm back at 40 watts and that's where it's staying. I can't seem to get any more than that. Oh geez. Could that be the same problem I was dealing with a few days before? So I went in, I unplugged it out, the input out, gave it a few seconds, plugged it back in, bang I'm back up at uh, 57 watts. And then from there on, I charged for a couple hours is all I needed to get me back to. I take mine up to about 94, 95%. And then uh, I stopped charging at that point. I've already sent quite a few questions to Jackery for their support. I just want to know what's going on with my machines. And, and they've been excellent. Every question I've asked, they've answered within a day or two after I send the question. Very, very good support. And I asked him about this one. And here's, here's what the problem is. Um, there's nothing wrong with your Jackery. This is the way it works. But it's got a PWM circuit control. It doesn't do well with low light situations. Uh, and the newer ones, even from Jackery, are coming in with uh, a new uh, charging controller that's called a uh, MPPT. Uh, those are circuits that handle low light a lot better than the 
the older one. All right, so what do you get when it does? When it sees a really low light situation, it holds itself to 40 watts, and that's where it stops. I guess it has to do some way of uh, uh, to try to keep the circuit uh, in okay that they don't try to overcharge something that uh, is too light. I don't know, whatever it is, but that's the way it works. And the problem I had when I started running at 11 watts, it already had me in that low control situation and already had me limited to 40 watts. What happened with me the other day, I was in nice and light and then when I put my panel around and I blocked all the sun for maybe 15 seconds, it saw the light go down real quick and it put that controller back down again to the low input and 40 watts being the limit and once you get into that mode it will not automatically bring you back you're in that mode the rest of the day um, so what's the fix for it well it's kind of a kink in the uh, the circuit uh, it's not a jackery thing I think anybody with a PWM controller would have the same problem the best thing you can do is know that's what's there you know you should be having more sun than that just unplug it in when you put the new plug in it resets the circuit charging control and whatever it sees it brings in what it needs and from that point you're okay so I don't have any problem with it I'm looking forward to the new versions that come out but right now the best thing you can do is to be aware that happens when it happens, all you have to do is unplug the input for a few seconds, plug it back in, let the circuit board reset, and you're ready to roll. Okay, well, that's it. I love this machine, and uh, trying to let you know anything that I find about it that you don't know. Uh, anybody else that's new with this thing, maybe you'd enjoy learning some of these things that I'm learning up almost every day. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this is Atco. Signing off.